Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to put a table of contents in Open Office Writer. Now, the reason I'm choosing to do that today is because I know I have some people who are subscribers of mine on this channel who are from poorer countries, and I figure, well, sometimes they can't afford to buy things like Microsoft Office Word or the more expensive ones where Open Office Writer is an open source free Word document and allows you to be able to create Word documents and so forth and turn them into PDFs no problem at all. Now I'm going to be doing some tutorials on this to help you out so as that you can be able to create the products that you should be creating. Now before we go ahead and do that I just want to let you know that here at Product Creation Formula we love to give you tips and tricks to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, so let's go check it out. Now, there's a couple of steps we need to do if we want to be able to put a table of contents into Open Office Writer. Now the first thing we need to do is to go down and put a footer in the bottom of each page. And why we do that is primarily because what that happens, what has to do is we're going to be putting, linking that to this area here, which is table of contents. And that just makes it more convenient for the people who are reading your ebook. This way they can just click on that. If they're down the bottom of the page and they want to find, or and they want to be able to find something in another part of your document, say for example, they, they want to find the resources, they can then click back up to the table of contents click on the resources and it takes them straight to the resource page. So that's one of the things you can do and it helps your customers, it helps your clients and it makes it much easier. So putting a table of contents in OpenOffice Writer is actually a little harder than what it would be if you were doing it in Microsoft Office Word. However, saying that, the principle of some of this is exactly the same. So let's go over and first of all format what we need to do. You see over here we got introduction and if you look up here it says heading one so you must make sure that all the headings that you want to have all the chapters that you want to have are in heading one now over here i'm going to be calling that one chapter two okay so what i'm going to do is i just realized chapter one is missing so let's go and see if we can find it. Here it is, chapter one right there. So let's turn that into chapter one. And then we just go through, go find the other chapter and then we will go ahead and do that. Okay, I'll just pause the video while I do that. So now that we've got that step done, we need to make sure that all of our, in, all of our headings are at heading one. So you can scroll through to find all the headings. And then, there we go, heading one, up here somewhere is heading one, chapter one, I think I overtook it, there we are, chapter one. Okay, so they're all heading one, and that's exactly what you want to see. So let's go back up here, now it's time to put the footer in the bottom of the page. So to do that, we go to insert, we go to footer, and we go to default. Now down the bottom here, it puts it over here, and all we need to do is go to the center and type in, click here to go back to the table of contents. Okay, so now that we've got that done, now the first thing we have to do at this point is go back to the table of contents where it says this one here table of contents and we need to bookmark that now to do that all we have to do is go over here to insert go down to where it says bookmark and we hit bookmark and we now type in table of contents And there we have it and we go okay now down the bottom here where we have this we now have to hyperlink this so we highlight over the top of that we go over here to this hyperlink one and we click on that 
Now over here you'll see this little target, target in document. So you double click on that, you click on that, then you double click. Well actually you hit the plus button and you see where it says table of contents. You click on that and then you hit apply and then you hit apply again and then you can close it. And that has made that clickable. So if I was to hit, hit control and then click on that, that will take me back to the table of contents. Now it's time to add the actual table of contents. So you need to make sure you put your table of contents where you want it. Now, in my particular case, I'm going to be putting it directly under where it says table of contents. Now, the first thing you need to do is go over here to insert. Go down here to where it says indexes and tables. Then you go here to indexes and tables and you click on that one there. Now over here on the right hand side, you'll see where it says entries. You click on entries. Now you'll see that you got e hash and then you got e and then t and then you got hash. Now on the between the e hash and the e, you'll see a little white space just there. You click on that little white space and then you hit hyperlink. Now that will move the e across one. And then to the right hand side of that e, you then place your cursor in there again and then you hit hyperlink and then that has now you're going to make sure that you have it on level one at all times and then you hit OK. Now what has happened is it's turned this into a clickable table of contents. Now if you have a look here you can go down here you hold down the control button and it will take you down to chapter five. Now let's say for example you go through and you go, okay, let's have a look at this. And you go, I don't want my introduction there. I want that a bit further down. I want to put that onto the next page. So you scroll down and you take that down to the next page. And then that's now changed the table of contents, but it hasn't changed it here. So all you need to do is right click on the table of contents and hit update table of contents. And immediately it has changed that from page one to page two it's moved it along and any other changes that have been made will have been made there as well let's say let's go through and see there we go here's another one we can move to the next page so let's scroll this one down till it starts on a new page at the top of that page yes okay now go back to the table of contents right click update index now that was on page 8 you can now update index and there we changed it and there we have it things have now changed to where you want it and of course you go through and you can just see and make sure it's all form formatted properly it is as simple as that now if you want to go back to let's say for example you're down the bottom you want to go to the resources you can click here and there you are you want to go back to the top of the page and you want to have a look at say what it's involved in branding you can have a look at that and you can go through and see what's there. And this allows you to be able to just jump backwards and forwards to have a look at what's in the ebook. Okay guys, that's all there is for this particular video. So remember, if you like this video, please remember to smash the like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and while you're at it, why not share? Okay guys, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.